Hi, Zoe. We're back. We took a nice break. Zoe, I sat on the couch for the whole break. Can you believe that? Yeah, I was riding from the whole break. <laughs> you were riding? Can I see what you were riding on the break? You were drawing. I was drawing on the um, race board. Oh, let's see what picture you drew, Zoe. It made a cat. Wow, look at the details. He has his four feet. He has a tail. Look at his ears. So you even drew his cat claws and his whiskers. Wow, did you, did you think of my whiskers? Did you come up with a name for that cat? It's Zoe. <laughs> it's Zoe. It's Zoe cat. That is the cutest cat. What made you think about drawing that? I know, I know what to draw because I, I love it. Oh, because you know because you love it. You love cats? Yeah. What do you love about those cats? I love about those cats feet, some cat food, and some uh, milk for them, and some, and a toy for them. Oh, you like giving the cat food and milk and toys? Yeah. What else do you like about those cats? Uh, I like about those cats how a uh, robot paws. <laughs> robot paws. Oh, I love how their paws feel. They're soft and furry. How do they feel to you? They are cuddly and so, so cute. Oh, they're cute and cuddly. What about when they grow bigger? Uh, they grow bigger because I wanted them to be bigger than me. Cool. Can, they be, can we make friends with cats? Yes. We could be friends to cats too. How can we be a friend to a cat? We hug them and we pat them. Oh, we can pat them. Do we pat them hard? Or do no. We pat them hard? Oh, no, we don't pat them hard. How do we pat them, Zoe? We pat them softly. Softly, that, that's a good idea. If I pat them too hard, what, what might happen? Uh, he might scratch you. He might scratch me if I pat him too hard. So that's a good idea you were thinking about unpatting that cat softly. There's our friend Tristan. Tristan, Zoe drew a picture of a cat. And there's, there's Tristan's sister, Ralea. And Zoe was showing us about on. her cat that she drew, Tristan. And we were talking about friends today, how we can make friends. And we watched a video with some children telling us how we can make friends. We talked about, you can say, hi, my name is Tristan. Do you want to play with me? No. What? And he said, no. So do you think so? He, Tristan going to make a new friend yeah. if he say no? <laughs> No. No, that person might say, I'm sad, Tristan. I wanted to play with you. So, Tristan, I'm going to show you a little video we watched today with some children showed us how we can make friends. I got to sit up that can't see you. These friends are going to show us how we can make friends with other children. We can say hello. We can tell them our name. We can say hi. My name is Tristan. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Look, there it goes, Tristan. Are you ready? 
Me and Zoe watched it earlier. Hello, Mr. Orlando here. I am sitting with Ben. Hello, Ben. Look at Ben, Tristan. Nice to meet you. You're older and older. The very They're shaking hands. hands. Nice. Now, ben, he shook hey. hands and said hello. Yes. If I wanted to make a friend, what would I, what would I say? You would say. <laughs> oh, really like oh, See, he oh, said you would say hello. I like you. You want to be friends with me? Oh, okay. And then I'll give a thumbs up. Okay, let me try. Let me try. give a thumbs up and say thumbs up. Okay. No. Hello. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, you seem very nice. Uh, do you think you would like to be friends with me? He said yes. He gonna be our friend. Rylan. Rylan, we were watching our, our okay, friends okay, tell us I'm about making friends. Then we don't know each other, okay? When we be best friends, we have to sit on the chair. <laughs> be best friends like that, Tristan? Look at Gracie. Gracie going to show us how to meet a new friend. Nina. are very good. Talk to me, best friend, so you can sit on the chair. Can I show you how I've been trying to make friends, Gracie? And you can tell me if I'm doing it right or if I'm doing it wrong. Hey, you, over there. Look, he's screaming. He said, hey, you, Tristan, you going to be my friend? Hey, hey. Is that right? <laughs> Gracie said, that is not how you make friends. That is not how you do. Ask them if they want to play with me. You're supposed to ask them if they want to play with you. And ask them their name. That's what Grace is saying. My name's Mr. Orlando. What do you say? My name's Gracie. Oh, your name's Gracie. And then what do we do? And then we can go play together. Oh, we can go play together. That sounds fun, Tristan. Oh, do you know what game they're playing? They're playing hide and seek. <laughs> Did you find me? Uh, you, you, you hide, you hide, you hide. Wait Now, we learned about that earlier, friends, and we talked about how we could make friends. And my friends, my friends in class, we said, we talked about what are friends. We talked about how you can make friends. We said we can hug, we can play hide and seek, we can kiss our friends if we ask them. If our friends get hurt, we have to fix them and ask them their name. Yeah, we even talked about meeting friends, taking turns. Our friends said that taking turns means that we share because we care. So if you have a turn with the truck, and when you finish, you give it to Relina so she can have a turn with the truck. We learned about friends and taking turns. Yes, Ryan? Yes. Oh, look what Ryland has. Ryland has a picture of a dog. He's very cute because his name is Chelsea the Puppy Flower. What was his name again? His name is Chelsea the Puppy Flower. Chelsea the Puppy Flower. Show us that puppy on the TV screen, Rylan. Look at that puppy. Can you be friends with the puppy? Yeah, he's very cute. Oh, so we can be friends with the cat. We can be friends with people. And we can be friends with puppies because they're so cute. How could you be friends with that puppy? Because he's very cool. Because he's very cool. Zoe. Zoe, can you show us what you made? Zoe has a picture of her cat. And she made a cat friend named Zoe. Zoe, tell us about your friend. Zoe the cat. This jacket looks like a picture. Wonderful. Look at that. It looks like.
said she made a house for her cat friend. Did you make a house, Zoe? I made a baby cat. Zoe made a baby cat friend. Mm -hmm. So we're learning all about friendship. Now, friends, I want to share with you a story. I can wait. All right, friends, I want you to put your writing book and your books down for just a moment while we read a story about making room for more people. It's always room for new friends. Let's check out our story for today. I know how to write a good bike and pop a wheelie. Did you? Let's check out our story for today. It's a story about Groovy Joe. And Groovy Joe is a dog, Rylan. Just like on your puppy. Oh, puppy. Groovy Joe, Dance Party Countdown by Eric Litwin. Groovy Joe is totally fun. He's a song singing tail wagon party of one. And he rocks like this. Disco, Disco party, party bow, bow wow. Disco, Disco party, party bow, bow wow. wow. Knock, knock. Who's there? there? One. One who? Party. One more dog is going to disco with you. How many dogs are there now? Two dogs in the room means less space for Joe. Does Joe get upset? Goodness, no. He keeps rocking. Party, bow, wow. Disco party, bow, bow. Knock, knock, knock. Who's knocking? Who's there? Who's there? Two. Two. Two who? Two more dogs are going to disco with you. How many dogs are there two now? Plus two is how many? Four dogs in the room. Four. space for Joe. Does Joe get upset? He doesn't get upset. Goodness, no. He keeps on rocking. Disco party, bow wow. Disco party, bow wow. He's making lots of new friends. Knock, knock. More knock, knock. Four. Four who? Your dogs are going to disco with you. He's making all the new dogs friends. are there now. And then and then four plus four, four, plus four equals eight. Eight, eight dogs friends. In the room means less space for Joe. Does oh, Joe get upset? Yeah. What do you think, friends? Goodness, Goodness no. no. He doesn't get mad. He keeps on rocking. Disco party, bow wow. Disco party, bow wow. wow. This party is rocking. They're packed on the floor. But Groovy Joe says there's room for one, one more. more. We need one more friend. Who could it be? I wonder who could it be, friend? I gave that. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Joe invited. Joe invited who? Rylan. Yeah, yeah, I wonder yeah. who it is. Joe invited you. Joe invited you, Zoe and Tristan and Riley. Okay. Fun. This story is ending, but the party has just begun. And you sing and dance together. What does this story show? There's always room. For one, one more, more friend. Disco party, bow wow. Disco party, bow wow. wow. That was a nice story, friend. Like There's this? always room for one more friend. We should share. So we share and we care. When when somebody comes over and say, hi, Tristan, 
You want to play with me and my toys? What? Oh, Tristan says, no. What do you think that friend is going to feel? How do you think that it's going to make a friend feel when you say, no, I don't want to play with you? How do you think it makes us feel? Angry. Make us feel angry. He yelled at us. He said no to us. We mad at him. What else? How else would that make us feel, Rylan? If somebody yelled at you and you said, hi, my name is Rylan. Want to play with me? And they said, no, I don't want to play with you. How would that make you feel? How would that make you feel? That would make Miss Bratton feel sad. Tristan, I would feel sad if somebody screamed at me and they said, no, they don't want to play with me. I would say, eh, <laughs> he don't want to play with me. I'm sad. That's a mean friend. Rylan, if somebody yelled at you and said, no, I don't want to play with you, Rylan, how would that make you feel? Very mad. That would make Rylan feel very mad. Yeah. She would be mad. Let me see your mad face, Rylan. <laughs> she would be mad. I'm mad because you yelled at me and you said, no, you didn't want to play with me. So if you yell at them and you say no, do you think you can make a friend? Yes. If, if you said, no, I don't want to play with you. Is that the way we make friends? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to hold no. it. I'm not going to open it. No. Man. Is that the way we do it? Yeah. No. No, that's right, Tristan. We don't make friends by yelling at people. We don't scream at them and say, no, I don't want to play with them. No, no. That would make our friends sad or angry. Some of my friends said they'd be mad. How would you feel, Tristan? Mad. You, Tristan would feel mad, too, if somebody said, no, I don't want to play with you. No, yeah, he would be mad. So when we make friends, how should we look at people? Should we look at them like this? Hey, Tristan. <laughs> you want to be my friend? No. How, how should we do that? I see Zoe. Zoe said, no way. That's not how you look. What about if I did like this? What about if I made this face? Hi, Rylan. You want to be my friend? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so I got a thumbs up from Ralea. Ralea said, if I smile, what did you say, Rylan? Yes. Rylan said yes, too. If you smile, that's a, that's a nice smile face. All day. You can smile all day. What about if you do this face? Yes. Can you make friends rolling your eyes? No. Ah, uh, we shouldn't do that. That's right, Tristan. If we roll our eyes, people will think we have a bad attitude. If you sitting around like this, they're going to be like, I don't want to be her friend. She got a bad attitude. What if I did this? Hi. Yeah, did some, you think somebody would want to come talk to me if I look like this? Miss Bratton, do you want to play with me? Oh, Zoe, I would like to play with you. Oh, see, when I smile and wave, somebody wants to play with me. We are learning today how to make those friends. You guys are so smart. Let's see what else we have to do for our lesson today. Let's see what kind of activity we can do today. Would you like to see our activity for today? Yeah. All right, let's learn how to make letters. Now, when we learn, I want to see you do this activity today, Tristan and Rylan. When we leave after lunch, I want you to get your stick and make your stick letters today too, okay? So we're going to learn how we do that. Miss Evans is going to show us how we do our stick letters. Do you know what a stick is? Yeah. A stick is a straight line, something that's straight. All right, guys, let's learn about how we can make stick letters. 
These are some of the things that you can use. Pencils and crayons, forks okay, and spoons. Okay, girls, today's activity is called stick letters. And what stick letters are, are all letters that start, I mean, that are made with straight lines. Like our W is a straight line, our E is a straight line, T, Y, I, A, F, H, K, L, Z, A, B, N, and M. They all these letters are made with straight lines. So you can use crayons, you can use pencils, you can use markers. You can use spoons and forks. You can use any of these items that you have at home to do this activity. So I'm going to show you how I want y'all to do this activity. And then I want y'all I want to find y'all to make y'all items y'all have at home. And I want to send, I want y'all to send us some pictures or some videos of y'all making stick letters. Okay, for an example. All right, Tristan and Rylan. I can't see your looking eyes, Rylan. I want you to see how Miss Evans is going to show you. We need your looking eyes, okay? Oh, Let's watch and see. Markers. She's going to make so a W. Gonna Look. Marker, and we're going to make the form of the W. Look at that. Miss Evans made a w, w with markers. All straight lines. This is our letter W made out of markers. What else can now, we do? We're going to do the letter E. And I'm going to do E out of crayon. She used crayons to make the letter E. How many you're going to need for this one? One, two, three, four. four. That's, That's four right. Lines. Four. So we're going to do our line, and then our other lines for our E. And we made a.
about listening. I like the way my friends were listening. Were yeah. you listening at home? <laughs> now we're going to see our friends making stick letters. And look, Zoe has already started. Miss Branton got a marker. My marker is a straight line. I have some pencils. I have a paintbrush. My paintbrush is a straight line. So I can use these straight lines to make some letters. I'm going to try to make the letter A. I made the letter A. So you guys can use anything you can find that's okay. straight lines. And you can line them up to try to make letters. Let's try to make one more letter. I saw Miss Evans make the letter E. We need four. So I have four things to write with that are straight lines. I can turn them any way I need. So I'm going to take these pencils and try to make the letter E. V. So I made the letter V. Zoe made the letter V. Let's try to make the letter V. The letter V is E. The night. Oh. Night. So you guys, if you wanted to take some pictures of some of the letters you made today or tomorrow when you have a day off, you can show us some of the letters that you made with your stick. And you can even go outside and get sticks, real sticks from trees and make your letters when you're outside playing. So my friends, we learned all about making friends today. Yes, Rylan? My dog is sick. Your dog is sick, Rylan? What happened to your dog? He just got it when he was playing with it. And I just go just throw it for my dog so he can catch it. Oh, no. How did he get sick, Rylan? Because he had to get the bone because he had to get it. He has to get the bone? Well, let's see what happened to that old man, okay? Let's see if we can find the dog and see if the dog gets his bone. Do you want to see the dog get his bone, Tristan? He needs her bone. This old man, he, this old man can show us about a dog giving a dog a bone. Yeah. Do you see that old man frog on the, on the screen, Tristan? Yes. Look at that old man frog. Hey, boys and girls, it's Mr. Cool mm -hmm. Old Man Frog. Yes, son, I want to sing you a little song about the coolest old man. Yes, and he'd like to play Nick Nack at the Patty Whack. And it goes a little something like this. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack pettywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played two. And he played knick-knack on my shoe with a knick-knack pettywhack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man. He played three. He played knick knack on my TV with the knick knack that he went. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four. He played knick knack on my door with the knick knack that he went. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man. He played five. He played knick-knack on a beehive with a knick-knack patty whack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played six. He played knick-knack with some sticks in a knick-knack patty whack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Hey, that was fun, guys. What did that old man give that dog? 
A bone. A bone. He gave a dog a bone. Look at the name. Look at his name. He gave a dog a, a bone. How did the old man get home? Rolling down. Rolling home. Good. Remember the old man. Rolling home. What was the old man's name? Miss Bratton, are we finished? Oh, look. Zoe made letters of her name with her sticks already. What letters did you make, Zoe? E I A T L V N Y. Zoe, didn't she be working on letters? And I challenge you friends at home to make your letters too. Make sure we get those letters made, friends. Friends, it is 11.30. Do you know what time it is? Learning. It is time for lunch, my friends. We had a great day today. We learned about this old man, and he gave his dog a bone, and he played. Daddy, we, need some lunch. we learned about friends and how we take turns. We learned about stick letters, and that's letters you can make with straight lines. Uh, and we play stop and go. When the music plays, we stop. We go. When the music stops, we stop. And now, friends, if you have any family members that can go pick up your lunch or you want to go pick up lunch and snacks for today, now yeah. it is. <laughs> Girls. So today, friends, if you want to go get lunch, lunch will be at 11.30. They will start at Bojangles at 11.30 on 29 and at 12 o'clock at North Point and at 12.30 at Bethel School. If you want to pick up lunch or snacks or a family member can pick up lunch or snack for you guys. Just let us know what child you're there to pick up for, and we'll be glad to serve the family. Well, Tristan, yeah. Ralea, Zoe, and Rylan, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye-bye. I have a great day. Miss Bratton and Miss Evans love you all. Okay. See you later. And work yeah. hard, because learning.